Spiritus Sanctus docebit vos. Alleluia. Quecum quedixera vobis. Alleluia. Today, we are presented with a rather short and simple antiphon. The melody rests comfortably in mode 8, conveying a sense of peacefulness and rest. But it is not without energy and movement. The repeated emphasis on C, the reciting tone for this mode, creates an intensity that highlights the importance of the words sung. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything I have said to you. These words may pass us by as familiar or mundane, but when we consider them in context, they reveal a deep meaning and a message of great consolation. This text comes from Jesus' farewell discourse to his apostles at the Last Supper, in which he tells them he will be leaving the world to go to his Father. Sensing the disciples' anxiety at this prospect, Christ repeatedly encourages them, indeed commands them, do not let your hearts be troubled, explaining that it is to their benefit that he leaves so that he may send them the Holy Spirit. But perhaps the disciples were not so consoled at these words and knowing nothing about the Holy Spirit could not even imagine how Christ's departure could bring about anything good. Maybe they feared that all that he taught and all he promised would fall away and leave them empty and brokenhearted. The words of Christ in this antiphon show us that, in fact, the opposite is true. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything I have said to you. Everything. Every obscure parable, every hard saying, every word that the disciples did not understand, all this will be illuminated and made known to them by the Spirit of God. It is not that Jesus' death and his burial means the end of his teaching and his presence in the world. Rather, it gives way to a glorious new life in the resurrection and the outpouring of his spirit into the disciples' hearts that the infinite love of God might remain in them forever. Indeed, it is this very gift of the spirit that empowers the apostles to preach the kingdom of God and spread Christ's message to the ends of the earth. In putting this text in front of us this Sunday, the church reminds us that Christ offers that same gift, that same consolation to us. It can be all too easy for us to fall into fear, even despair, when we think that Christ is leaving us, especially when we experience loss, failure, depression, dryness in prayer. But if we believe Christ's word is true, if we believe that we have received the gift of the Holy Spirit, the very love of God in our baptism, then we must heed Christ's command. Do not let your hearts be troubled. If God allows us to experience loss, even the seeming loss of his presence in our lives, it is not because he has abandoned us. Rather, it is because he is doing something new. He is preparing to give us a totally new, totally unforeseen, totally unimaginable outpouring of his love. This promise is capable of offering us hope in our darkest moments, perhaps not alleviating the suffering itself, but bringing us peace and even joy and gratitude because of the love that is already at work within us to bring us deeper into Christ, deeper into the embrace of the Father. Spiritus Sanctus docebit vos, Alleluia. Quecum quedixera vobis. Alleluia.